so hey guys how's it going today it's very exciting because I'm filming on my brand new camera I went to Best Buy and got it because my other one crapped out on me so I got the Sony Handycam CX230 very exciting and this one actually works if you guys follow me for a while uh, you know in March or April I tried to buy a new camera I got a camcorder I think it was um it wasn't a Sony was it Anyway, like, it was, like, not compatible with my computer software. The, like, footage was encrypted. I could not view the footage even on the camera. So I took that back today. Well, not Friday. I went and bought this camera, and I think the quality is really good. I'm kind of looking at the uh, viewfinder, which I really like having a viewfinder now, and it's going to be really hard to focus on the camera and not the viewfinder. Um, but anyway, let's get into the video today. Um, as you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. Um, which actually I don't think I look pretty bad and the camera's actually doing pretty good justice to it. But I think my skin looks pretty good today. The reason I'm not wearing any makeup today is I'm doing a review on the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream. This retails for about $13, I believe. That's how much I paid for it at Ulta. Uh, I really, really love this foundation and I really wanted to do a review on it. I'm doing a review kind of different today. I'm going to apply the... BB cream and kind of talk through what I like about it and at the end I'll give my overall thoughts and opinions. This is not by any means a first impressions because I have been using this for over a month now. Love it. It is my new favorite drugstore BB cream. Maybe second under the Revlon BB cream because I really love that stuff. So we're gonna get started here. Okay so I'm just gonna kind of pull my hair back with this old headband I've had for a very long time and now I'm kind of looking like Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl. Um, okay. Maybe I'll zoom in here a little bit. Let's play with the zoom. Okay. Okay. Now I'm zoomed in and you can see the whole picture here. Um, normally, whoa, and now I'm out of focus. Focus. Okay, we're golden. Um, lighting's not so good. Now I look kind of scary anyway. So there's a couple of different ways. First, we're going to start off with priming. First, I'm going to start by priming with the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Oil-Free Primer. Hey, look at that. You can actually read what the packaging says. I love this camera. <laughs> I'm going to start with a little bit of this, and I'm almost out of it, so it's a struggle to get some out. Oh, okay. There we go. I think that one's about dead. Time to put that in my empties sack. So I'm going to put this all over my face. Okay. So now that we have primed the canvas, it's time to apply the BB cream. Now there is a couple different ways I like to apply this. If I'm needing a little more coverage because I'm looking kind of splotchy or I have acne, I will use my hands to apply this. Now if I am having a good skin day, which I think I am today, and my skin's looking pretty good and I just want to sheer coverage, I will use my Sigma F80 Flat Top Coup Buki Brush. I got this earlier this summer. I freaking love it. Um, so that's what I'm going to use today. I suppose, why is it getting blurry? Stop getting blurry. Um, <laughs> talking to the camera. I'm sorry guys. Um, so I'm going to put just a little bit on the back of my hand. That's about all I need for now. Um, and then I will put some more on as I need. Um, I'm just going to tap my brush in there and just start like dabbing it all over my face. Kind of blending it in. There's one thing that was really hard to get used to with this BB cream and that is the smell it has. It smells, I don't even know how to describe it, very sweet. Um, it doesn't smell nearly as bad as the Fresh Effects uh, makeup wipes that I had included in my July Fails. Which, they smell like Swiffer pads, this kind of does, but not as bad. I'm going to get a little more on here. This is a very sheer... Well, not very sheer. This has sheer to medium coverage. Uh, you can definitely build it up as much as you need to, and it really depends on how you're applying it. Like I said, you're gonna, if you use your hands to apply it, you're going to get much more coverage. If you use a brush like I am, 
you're gonna get a uh, sheer coverage and then if you don't really need a lot of coverage you can use a beauty blender which is gonna give you the sheerest amount of coverage you could ever wish for I don't really like using the beauty blender I actually haven't used my beauty blenders in months I just don't use them anymore 25 bucks down the drain I guess okay and I'm gonna take it down my neck here okay so there is the finished look if you I could put another coat on if I really wanted to but I think this looks pretty good um, so now that I have it on let me just kind of talk quickly what I look for in a BB cream slash foundation I am somebody who has relatively good skin I don't have a lot of acne I have a lot of acne marks from when I was a teenager because then I did have a lot of acne now I don't have um, bad acne I do just have a lot of acne marks especially around here on my chin which is where I got them the most um, what I look for in a foundation though is a lightweight one that's going to give me a sheer amount of coverage because I really don't need a lot I just need something that's going to even out my skin tone I have really pink cheeks and sometimes they are a lot more pink than other days I think I might have inherited a bit of rosacea like my grandmother has I don't know um, so really when I'm getting a foundation I just want something that's lightweight and sheer that's just going to even out my complexion and give me a nice all over color. Also because I have really dry skin I'm looking for something that's going to brighten and moisturize and give me a little bit of luminosity. Just kind of make my face just light up. That's what I really like about this. Although this and that being said this does a really good job of hydrating my face and it is very very moisturizing. To the point that it's almost too moisturizing. I'm not somebody who needs powder um, to powder my face because I do have dry skin. With this, I do like to use powder. It's just because I, I feel like it's a little too wet. Now, mostly when I apply it with my hands. If I apply it with the brush, it because I'm not using as much, I feel like it's not as shiny. Very quickly, I'm just going to finish up by putting some Benefit Erase Paste Concealer. Conceal those dark circles. This doesn't do much for concealing dark circles um but that's okay not a lot of foundations I've tried do so I'm just going to quickly put a light coverage of concealer on and if you want a more in-depth review of how I conceal my dark circles let me know I will definitely do a tutorial I usually do a lot more steps than this but I don't really need to like go heavy duty on the uh, dark circles today because I'm not really doing much I'm going to work here in an hour but even then I don't like to put a lot of makeup on for work because American Eagle because I work in American Eagle and our store is very hot so I don't want my makeup to get sweaty and creasy and not looking cute because I don't have time to like check in the mirror and do you know touch up so I think that's good for concealer right now and next like I said I like to set this with a powder so I'm going to use the Maybelline instant age rewind powder with an eco tools powder brush just kind of tap it and then I just like to press I just like to press it into the skin I like to press it into the skin I don't like to like um like swirl it too much because I feel like that just disturbs the concealer and the BB cream this just kind of sets it and takes away the shine I'm gonna take it down my neck now that my face is done I'm going to quickly finish my makeup and I will be right back okay so I finished my makeup here's a quick close-up of what the BB cream looks like um I really like the finish it gives it's just a very natural um effortless kind of look let me zoom out here overall I really like the Olay BB cream um some of the cons I don't like I don't like the smell I don't like I don't like the smell it just it smells really weird and I notice it like when it's on my skin like Sometimes, you know, foundations, they smell, but they'll go, it'll go away after you apply it to your skin and to your face. This doesn't, and that kind of bugs me. It'll go away after a couple hours, but I hate that it smells so bad. I have a lot of color selection. When I bought it at 
Ulta all I saw was a light a fair to light uh, tone and a light to medium. I didn't see a medium to dark so I guess if you're darker skinned you might not be able to find a shade that'll work for you. Um, and I did notice maybe it's just the primer I'm using at the moment because I've been using the Smashbox one. I haven't tried it with any other primer but this does tend to sink into my pores towards the end of the day I notice if once I go to take my makeup off I'll see that it's sunken into my pores and it doesn't look that great um other than that it holds up pretty well um th where throughout the day I want to try it with a different primer but first I need to finish this up and on the other hand it's very moisturizing it gives me the coverage I really want to have um I do really like that it has um SPF in it it has 15 SPF um and it says it is a broad spectrum SPF so it will block different kind of rays that'll give you um, skin cancer. Um, it says it helps prevent sunburn, which I really like. Um, one thing I noticed though, it says it's a BB cream and it's marketed as a BB cream, but it says it is a skin perfecting tinted moisturizer. So it's really not a BB cream, but it is the closest drugstore tinted moisturizer I've seen to a BB cream. To me, it reminds me a little bit of the Dr. Jart water infused BB cream that I tried through my birch box a while back I think last year it reminds me of that it's nowhere near the Tarte BB cream that I'm playing with right now um, definitely is a lot better than some of the other drugstore BB creams I will say that um, like I said it's about $13 you can find it at most drugstores I've covered everything here but if you do happen to have any more questions please leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think of the camera quality I really really dig it and it's really hard not to look in my viewfinder I might have to start covering that up um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all very soon bye guys